Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. Today, we're going to take a look at the recent release from Tool, Fear, Inoculum. All right, so yes, this is actually a physical copy of the package. Very rare. Sent to us, gifted to us by one of our loyal viewers, Brad, who came across a couple copies and asked if we would be interested in... Uh, reviewing this on the show and he would gladly send me a copy so brad thank you so much i really appreciate it so we had actually reviewed this release on the webzine at seatranquility.org back in september um, but i never did get a physical copy because uh, they weren't really selling this too many places there was only that a small amount of you know small amount made uh, so most people i guess just went and bought the digital version of the album uh, they decided not to do much with physical product right but there were some out there so thank you again brad cool to have this so uh i figured we do a little kind of like take a look at the package right so it's uh, it's not like a traditional size uh you know cd package here it's it's definitely bigger it's more like a, a book right or a dvd or blu-ray box so it's not going to fit on the shelf too nicely but pretty cool nonetheless there's the kind of the back all right when you open it First thing you see, and again, kind of typical tool kind of shenanigans as far as like the artwork and the design, you know, very abstract, very, you know, kind of different and kind of spacey. And then uh, in a second, you will see it comes with a little video screen and a speaker, okay, to play a little animation video. Uh, I'll let it run for a little bit so you can kind of get a little feel for it. I don't know how long it goes for. I didn't sit and, you know watch the whole thing I don't, know, I don't know if it goes in a loop or what have you uh, it also comes with a little video charger because it runs on a little uh, ion battery i haven't been able to find the charger in here though it's in here it's in this thing somewhere i don't know exactly where it is I'm not too worried about it though so again pretty pretty kind of weird pretty kind of space it kind of reminds you like you know like uh soundtrack music to uh the film alien or something like that right so it actually turns off if you close it that way all right so on this side let's uh, show you what the booklet looks like you get a nice thick like 30 plus page booklet again very toolsy in here you got some uh, got some lyrics you got pictures of the band you know danny and maynard and adam and you know they're all here Interesting how so many people over the years have said I look like Danny Carey. I don't think so, but <coughs> hey, whatever. All right, credits, all that good stuff. Uh, and then on the other side of the package, bear with me a second here. It's kind of a little awkward to kind of take things in and out. And when you open up the other side of the package, the video is going to start again, right? So um, you get, uh, let's turn that off. There we go. Uh, you get like a little kind of like instruction thing in different languages you get of course the uh, mp3 download code information and then you get this sleeve which houses the actual cd okay so you might be asking well pete what about the music how does the album sound well you know what it sounds like tool it sounds like tool and uh yeah it's just amazing like how many years in between releases these guys have done because you know, they've been around since like the early 90s, but yet they've only got like a handful of album releases. So they definitely space out their releases quite a bit. This is the first one in 13 years since 10,000 Days. It's also uh, been engineered and mixed by Joe Barisi, you know, who worked on the previous album. Again, it features the same cast of characters. You got Maynard Keenan, you got Danny Carey, Justin Chancellor, Adam Jones, right? Um, a lot of tracks, okay, but mostly made up of a handful of really long songs so there's 10 tracks in total um but the you know half of them or close to half of them are like kind of short little kind of like instrumental snippets that bridge the gap between certain tracks and and i will say that in the handful of times i've listened to this it's not so much of a song based album by any means it's very much, to me anyway, and that's the way I like to take this album in, <clears throat> the album has to be listened to as a whole. It's almost like one long, and it's it's long. <clears throat> I mean, this is like, what, like, it's like, it pushes the boundaries of the CD medium. I mean, I think it's like 80, 79, 80 minutes, or thereabouts, <clears throat> or a little, you know, something like that. It's long. 
And for me, it's almost like one really long suite, okay? And the music, it's not like it's really heavy, but it has heavy moments. It's certainly very progressive. It certainly has a lot of uh, uh, Danny's kind of like tribal beats and percussion going throughout. The drumming is spectacular on it. Um, there's some real heavy riffing, but there's also some kind of like very kind of uh, acrobatic, um, almost kind of King Crimson proggy type of guitar and bass things going on. You know, Maynard's key uh, vocals come in and out of the mix, all right, um, like he normally does. It's a very mesmerizing album. There's a lot of great grooves on the album, and I, I really like the way they've kind of, you never quite know what to expect and what's going to come around the next corner. <clears throat> if, if that makes any sense. So one minute they're kind of like you're you're getting you're lost in this kind of like tranquil, mesmerizing, dreamy state based on the music that's kind of floating and bubbling along, and then kabam, in comes some you know staccato heavy riffing right and pounding drums, some angry vocals by Mater, and then it drops back into this kind of meditative state for another four or five minutes. Um, for some people, if that's going to be a little I don't want to use the term boring, but I think there's going to be some folks uh, who are going to listen to this and be like, God, the songs are way too long. The album's way too long. Uh, there's really nothing you can kind of pull out of it and say, I like this track, because the whole thing just kind of one song, one track goes into another. And it does so very well, though. It really does a good job of it. I, I, I dig it. I think it's good. It's kind of mesmerizing. It's kind of intoxicating. Like I said, it's heavy in spots. It's definitely progressive and proggy. If you like, you know, if you're, if you're a prog rock fan or prog metal fan and you like really intricate stuff, um, lengthy tunes, lots of kind of uh, interesting and weaving instrumental passages, plenty of that here. All right. If you prefer the older, earlier, very song based tool formats, Mm, this might be testing your patience a little bit. Personally, uh, I enjoy it. I think it's definitely mood music. You know, this is not, for me, this is not put on and blast in the car while you're driving down with the top down type of stuff. Uh, that, that's not what I get out of this. This is something, I mean, I was, <clears throat> I was listening to this again last night uh, while making dinner. And uh, my wife was upstairs reading. I'm downstairs in the kitchen. I got this blasting. I'm making, you know, I'm making the chicken, getting the, the fettuccine Alfredo going, all that kind of stuff. And I'm sipping a beer and I'm walking around the kitchen and I'm just kind of like grooving and undulating all over the place because that's how this music makes you feel. All right. It's just got these peaks and valleys and peaks and valleys. And, you know, the track list, I'll read them off. Uh, Fear Inoculum, okay, kicks it off. That's very cool. Uh, Numa. Uh, Latane Contre, Le Pure, again, whatever, however you say it, Invincible, uh, Legion Inoculant, Descending, Culling Voices, Chocolate Chip Trip, Tempest, and Mocking Beat. All right. But again, <clears throat> in all the times I've listened to this, I couldn't tell you which one is which because to me it's like, it's just like one long piece. All right. With lots of great passages and lots of great sections. And uh, like I said, it, 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 kind of runs the gamut of everything the tool does all right kind of runs the gamut so uh you gotta have patience with it is is my is my recommendation i i think there's plenty here to like i enjoy it i really do i i've i've like it more the more i listen to it uh but again i i gotta listen to it all as a whole okay for me it's the only way it works it's i just can't put on a couple tracks and then go do something else i gotta listen to the whole thing because it's kind of like an experience that you have to kind of live through right and and, and have the patience to sit through I know for some people, uh, this album will test that patience, but uh, I, I tell you, give it a chance. It's worth it. Uh, I gave it a, a very, very strong four out of five stars on the website, and I'm going to kind of reiterate that here. It might even be a little higher. Again, not an album full of anthems, but I don't think that's what they were going for here. Uh, definitely some stellar mood music that's plenty progressive, plenty thought-provoking. Uh, it'll definitely get your auditory senses moving in all sorts of different directions. So... I dig it. <clears throat> if you haven't heard it, check it out. Tool Fear Inoculum. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. We'll see you guys real soon today for a couple more tidbits. All right. So have a good one. Bye bye.